Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is really about Photograve, which is a photo editing uh, for photographs to edit it ready for the laser, and you can see it. I've done this, and it's just a bunch of dots. And the gentleman's thinking there's a background, and I pick black granite, and there are no dots here, so I, I don't, I've never removed the, the background on photos for photo grave and then engraved them. I usually leave the background. But, and I've got another video out there on how to uh, get this young man's shape out of the picture, and I'll put a link to that video. But in photo grave, you can do the exact same thing. With this young man, with the exception, I, I haven't cut out the inside of his arm, but that's just another thing. So these two pictures are dead on on each other. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this picture and put a rectangle around it and just take the Smart Fill tool and make that. I'm going to nudge it out of the way a couple of times. I'm going to left click, right click. This is the same thing I do in the other video, but I've never done it to a photo graving picture but it actually worked, then go to object and break the curve apart, get rid of this triangle or this rectangle, and then just move this box back over, select them both and intersect them. And then what you have is that photo with no background. And if we take a yellow box trick, go to object, order, back a page, there's nothing there but the young man playing baseball ready to engrave. And I'm guessing this would be a safer way on um, Photograve to do this and uh, just to make sure nothing's touched. But I'm pretty sure because this is black, uh, it's not gonna engrave. But I don't know that for a fact. But this will definitely have no background. And I might even test this tomorrow on a piece of tile, uh, just kind of prove it. Uh, pretty good detail. Uh, there's other ways to do this for, you know, for laser engravers, but I've, I've had Photograve for probably 14 years, and I don't use it that much. I don't do that many photos, but whenever I do, I'm uh, thoroughly impressed with the, what it does and how. And I've got several, if you just search Photograve on my uh, website or on my YouTube channel, you'll see how easy it is. But I will put a link to this video that's how to remove this background from this young man. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.